everybody welcome back to another video with gem mint masters we have a psa reveal for you today i've got my order here I've got 14 cards here so we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what we've got uh this is the second i believe order from this promo from the new year's promo uh these orders are coming pretty quickly which is nice to see um normally the regular orders would take about eight weeks, <laughs> Some sometimes better, but it seems like I'm seeing from a lot of people too on, uh, on, on YouTube that they're getting their stuff back within just a few weeks, which is, which is awesome. Um, I'm hoping that continues. I still have three more orders sitting out there that, um, that all went in at the beginning of February. So I'm still waiting on uh, getting those back. I have one in grading status right now. So, um, But again, it's good to see PSA is moving these along a lot quicker. So 14 cards here. Uh, this should go a little quicker than normal. But um, this particular order, I'll just say before, before I start showing these, is I definitely took some risks on this order. So this is going to be very interesting to see. I've got some duplicate cards in here that... Um, I had kind of sent with the, the sole purpose of hopefully one kind of outshining the other because I really did want to get some tens in my collection. And sometimes I'll say that's a good thing to do, sometimes maybe not. But with the promo, I think it's kind of like all bets are off. Um, it definitely gives you a lot more flexibility because the, the cost is just that much lower. You might even send you might send a card in that you normally wouldn't send at all. So I think a lot of that kind of stuff happens. So all right, um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, the first card we have here, this is probably a great example of one I probably wouldn't normally send. Um, this is a Tom Brady 2017 Donruss Dominators. It's an insert. It looked really good, and it was kind of like a foil paper card. And uh, I, know, I know those are kind of notorious for, for getting damages on them. So I was like, you know what, this one looks really good. It's Tom Brady. Um, I think this card, I haven't seen a lot of these out there, but this one sells for about 50 bucks. So, I mean, right off the bat, you can you can kind of already say it's, you, you've justified yourself in sending this one off for grading. But again, Tom Brady, you're going to have a lot more flexibility. Michael Jordan, you know, you can pretty much submit any card, no matter what, and, uh, and, and, and do well on them. So I'll probably hang on to this one if it gets a 10, but let's go ahead and take a look. We got a 10, yeah. So there we go. It's a cool looking card, I thought. Um, and I've got a little recouping to do on the 2017 <laughs> Mega Box that I bought that I was doing some Mahomes chasing on. Uh, definitely didn't do so hot in that. I did pull a Christian McCaffrey rookie that I sent off and got an 8. So you probably see that on one of the previous videos I did. But it's good to see that at least something out of that box panned out for me. But uh, yeah, so anyway. Um, all right, I know I've got two of these purdies in here. I had purchased some of the sets, as I'd mentioned on a previous video. These are tough, man, these Donruss. The centering is not the best, I would say. Um, if you look at the back centering, it actually looks pretty good, but the front centering on a lot of these, not the greatest. But I wanted to send them off and see. Um, I'd love to have another 10. I'd, I think I've sent six i think in total i'll have sent nine of these um still waiting on three more plus two in here but out of the four i've gotten back i've gotten one gem mint so far and then three nines um so we've got two in this order and we got a nine okay so so there we go the nine streak on the brock purdy don russ continues <clears throat> all right next card here shohei otani uh 2022 Tops Chrome Update, Refractor, All-Star Game. I think I got this for like $2. And I was like, this is another good example of a card that, you know what, the run of the promo, um, it's Otani. I'm just going to go ahead and send this. I thought it looked really good. Um, you know, again, not, not the most valuable card, but in a 10, I think if you wanted to sell it, you could still do pretty well. And so we got a 9. Okay. So... Keep an eye out for this one on my eBay store. I will most likely be putting this one up there. Again, my eBay is Gem Mint Masters, all one word. Check it out if you're looking for any of this stuff. All right, so, so far we got 
a 10 and two nines. So as always, our goal is 50% gems, hopefully higher. Um, we're right kind of at that right now. All right, Brock Purdy, next one. Another Don Russ. We got another nine. So it's going to be tough sledding with these uh, these Purdies. You can see the left to right centering is not the best. These are also a little hard to judge because the centering is not necessarily this margin over here, but it's this. If you look at the design of this um, Don Russ, it's, it's really you're judging it on this piece over here. That's just, it's just the border is not meant to be completely even from this side to this side. It's, it's kind of strange, but that's, that's how it is. So if you're trying to look at the centering on these cards, look this far side by the name and this side. And if they match up pretty good, then you're in good shape. I already kind of knew going in that one was going to be a little tough, but oh well. All right, let's see if I got, I do have two of this card in there. Um, I think I think this was on one of my pre-submission videos a while back, but I found a lot of two of the 2020 Optic Tua Hollow rookies, rated rookies, and they both looked amazing. So you know, I'm thinking two tens are possible on this. And again, like sending them both together, I thought you know at least one of them had a good shot at it. So let's take a look. We got a ten. Nice. Yeah. Like as I said, these. These looked amazing when I got them. Um, the seller even marketed as such, and I did ask for additional pictures. I know I've talked about that before, um, but I want to be sure. Like, if I'm spending a decent amount on a card, like, I really want to be as sure as I can. I want to avoid having to send anything back. I, I don't like doing that, but I will if I have to. Uh, so I try to ask as many questions as I can. All right, next one here. Paulo Bancaro, Premier Level. This is the Rookie Select in the Blue Prism. I think I paid like $4 for this card. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to send it. It looked pretty solid. There was, I want to say there was like a little bit of a scratch. Yeah, let's see if I can shine the light on it. On the back, you'll see like a little, yep, a little divot right there, right toward the end of where that light shines. The front looked great. So I was like, hmm. <clears throat> Cards like that are tough, and I think I mentioned it on my latest uh, pre-submission video, too. I'm, I'm going to try and take a few chances on some of these cards, but I have seen pretty consistently that if it's minor enough, it's not getting any lower than a 9, and sometimes it potentially does get a 10. Well, let's see here. All right, so we got a 9 on that one. So not ideal, but um, yeah, so look out, look out on the eBay store for that one, too. Got a lot of 9s here. We've got the two 10s, but then four nines right now uh, so we'll see how it keeps going all right this next one you can see I've got two of the same card here Donovan Mitchell select rookie silver prism these are really hard to come by I really wanted to get one of these in my collection this is before select was was available over retail so this was like a hobby only um, and this is the concourse and I've got two of the exact same card here both silver prisms um, one of them did have a little kind of ding in the back um, if I can show it, I'll, uh, if I, if I can show it easily on here, I will. But uh, one of these I thought looked really good too. So again, I wanted to compare and send both with the hopes that one will, will kind of get that bump up to a 10. So let's see what we got here. All right. So we got a nine there. My guess is, let me see. Yeah. This looks like the one that was actually better. So it's going to be interesting to see what the other one comes out of. So we got a nine. That's such a cool looking card, though. Would love to have that in the collection. If you're looking for another guy to invest in, Donovan Mitchell. I don't know why, but his stuff is pretty cheap right now. The guy is clearly one of the top five or ten players in the NBA right now. I think if he continues on that path, no, no doubt Hall of Famer. Um, but he's been in the league for like six years, and he's been very consistent. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so here's the second one, same card. All right, that's an eight. Okay, so let's see. Yep, this one I was, I, don't, I probably shouldn't have even sent it. Um, if you look again where the light's shining right here, there's like a little kind of ding on the side. Yeah, I if I, if I could go back, I probably wouldn't send that. But um, again, I think my whole hope was that I send both. I think this one might have hurt the other one because I thought the other one looked so good. 
So, um, you know, I can see where that strategy might not work sometimes. We're killing it on the nines over here. We're definitely killing on the nines and the eights. Gotta get some tens. Let's get some tens in here. All right, next one. I got um, I got another gold here. Another gold Bowman Chrome Auto, Ricardo Olivar. Um, he is in the Twins organization. He was in the top 15, I believe. Um, new rankings have not come out yet. I think they're coming out in a couple weeks. But he was in the top 15. This guy was one that I was kind of had my eye on. So we'll see what he does this year. But um, this was the gold mini diamond auto, I believe, out of 2023 Bowman. It's either Bowman or Bowman Chrome, but uh, we'll find out. Bowman Chrome, mini diamond, and we got a 10. So, man, I I just, I don't know what it is about the gold. I've just, uh, I think I've say every time I get one here. It's pretty much a 10 every time. I think I have one nine in all 10s, probably 15 to 17 golds I've submitted now at this point. Um, again, you know, kudos to Bowman for their quality control because clearly they're they're doing something to where uh, these are in solid condition. So I'm very confident in purchasing golds raw if I can. All right, next one here, Jacob Berry. This one had a couple minor surface issues on the front, but this guy, I believe, is going to be huge. Um, I was willing to take the chance on this. I got it for a pretty decent price, I believe. And uh, this is the green shimmer, I believe, out of 99 uh, auto. Let's see what we got. We got a 9. Okay. I was kind of expecting that on that one. But again, like I said, this guy, I think, is going to be doing big things in the next... Hopefully this season, maybe he'll even see some action, get the call up. But he's he's like the top three or four prospect in that organization and, um, and, and did himself a lot of favors last season too. So we'll see where Jacob Berry comes out. Um, but there's a potential I'll sell, I might be selling that one. So keep an eye out for that too. Um, all right, next one here. This is probably another example maybe of one I wouldn't necessarily send. Marcus Lee saying yellow auto out of 75. Again, this is the promo. I got a good deal on this. Um, I will say there is, if you if you look on, if you're looking for Bowman cards on eBay, there is like a surge every year around this time. Um, and, and or when a new set comes out that, that people are really going out there trying to chase some of these, these harder to find ones and it's weird weirdly enough it's not always about how good the player is it's just about how how much of a chase card it is but um you know obviously the the no doubter prospects do command a little bit more but let's see what we got here we got a 10 nice so um and this is one too that was i thought was a little bit off center if you look left to right but again the, the tolerance is pretty fair um well it's not that bad i guess it's pretty it's pretty good but the tolerance is pretty good with um with PSA, I would say 60 40, I believe, on the front. Um, all right, this is now, I think, the third Jacob Melton base uh auto. First, I think, yeah, this no, this is not his first actually, but this is technically his first auto. Um, but this is like the third one I've submitted now. This guy you can get. For a steal, number one prospect in the Astros organization projected to be in the bigs this year. If you haven't already, go get him. I know his market has come up quite a bit, but I think he's still attainable compared to some of the other guys, and he has what it takes. They That's what they're saying. He's, he's one of the kind of um, closest thing to a sure thing, I guess you could say. So what do we got here? And we got a 10. So... Um, potential you'll see some of these on eBay store, eBay store at some point. I'm kind of holding them right now because I, I, I like where he's going. Um, and I've got three of them, so I, I can definitely see myself parting with some of those. All right, so next one here, we got Tyrese Maxey. This was just a card I picked up for a couple bucks. Uh, it's his rookie. It's the premier level. I think it's like the red, uh, orange, you know, or red, white, red, orange, white, shimmer something like that um again a couple bucks this guy's good so i figured why not send this during the promo and we got a 10 nice red yeah red white orange shimmer these are the ones that were in the hanger boxes um so yeah that's pretty solid i'll take that again for a couple bucks um and then last card tua it's the second hollow 
Um, so, like I said, I thought they both looked almost identical, to be honest. Um, everything looks so clean about these two. So, let's let's cross our fingers, see if we can get another 10. And we did, heck yeah. So, all right. So, let's see what we ended up with. We got four gems there. One, two, three, seven. And there were 14. So, yep, we hit exactly 50% there. Coming in kind of clutch at the end. But, um... Yeah, so like I said, I took a few risks on this order. Um, I think you should do that sometime. You never know what you're going to get. But again, if you got like a card like this Jacob Berry here, where you know even a nine, you're going to come out ahead. Um, I mean, I think that should tell you tell you a lot in, in itself. So um, I consider this a pretty solid order. I'm looking forward to having at least one of those Tua's in my collection. So uh, I might be moving one of the other ones. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, football season's tough now that it's over markets are coming down maybe not the best time to sell um, I love to trade so maybe maybe I'll find somebody that's uh, willing to give me a decent trade or something like that but but anyway thanks for joining me uh, for another PSA reveal we've got three more still to come in this series of five so keep an eye out for those I would anticipate one next week not this week um Today's Monday, February, I don't even know what the date is, 20th, 19th. Um, but I would anticipate one more next week, and then the other two hopefully shortly after that. But uh, thanks again for joining me. Uh, until next time.